So the Acute Oncology Service and the Cancer of Unknown Primary um, Cancer Service were relaunched and reintroduced into Sherwood Forest Hospitals Trust last year um, with the employment of Suzanne Corney into the AOS lead nurse role for, for AOS and with the employment of um, Sharon Dean into the CUP nurse specialist role. Um, the um, idea of uh, acute oncology services and CUP services across the country were introduced in around 2010 um, and it's mandated really that every hospital that has an emergency department should have an acute oncology service. The reason for that is that one in five cancer patients are diagnosed through an emergency admission. We obviously have the 62 day cancer waiting time targets that we work um, very hard to, to ensure that patients get seen very quickly, treated quickly um, for their cancer. So when a patient comes into ED I get a, an alert, so I get an email telling me there's a patient with cancer but it will also tell me if the patient's had cancer before. So it's anyone that's had cancer at any stage of their life. Whilst they're in ED, I can start to have a look at the patient, why they've come in, is it cancer related, is it a treatment complication, and then I can follow these patients into the EAU unit if they're admitted. My part of the service um, for cancer of unknown primary patients, any patients that um, are referred to the hospital that may not be already have a diagnosis of cancer, may come into hospital for certain investigations because they're actually unwell and they may not know they have a cancer at that time but as investigations start then it's recognised as a suspicion of cancer so I get involved with these patients from a point of view of linking in with them um, being a support to them and then signposting them to relevant other support that they might need, whether that's through Macmillan, um, there may be an inpatient where I would visit them regularly and help support the staff on the ward. So there are um, psychological assessments, quite brief ones that we can do with the patient ourselves and if they're broaching issues to me that I think oh you, you're struggling a little bit psychologically and emotionally and feel that they could do with support say more intense or more experienced than I'm able to offer then um, that's where I would then fill out um, initially the assessment form and then fill out the referral to my AMA. So in terms of the level two interventions that I support Sharon and Suzanne to use in their role um, that would be things like assessing and screening patients for depression and anxiety and thinking about um, any risks that they might be presenting with and how they can best support them as well as using tools such as problem solving um, and goal setting and activity scheduling to help people to boost their mood or reduce their anxiety if those are things that they're struggling with. If the service wasn't there the patients could stay in hospital for longer, I reduce length of stay, I can get patients up to clinic, I have access to acute oncology fast track treatment slots or clinic slots so I can hopefully improve that patient journey and I can support the medical team and the nursing staff in looking after that patient.